Okay, uh, so let's move on further. So, Sharanya, we looked at how we have uh, done the contact map and all, right? Contact, contact page and map. Contact and map, how okay. to add a new page in your website and how to add exactly. Google Maps, everything. And we already saw the text, images, galleries, uh, everything exactly. we saw. Now we are going to add a button. Yes, button. But before the button, I want to tell them about blog. Blog, I forgot. Okay. okay. So how to uh, how to add a blog is very easy, guys. So here uh, you can click on the plus icon, okay. and then here you can click on the blog page. Okay. Already we uh, discussed so while yeah. uh, creating a yeah. contact us page, right? Exactly. So here the blog would automatically appear. So now the blog has come. Now click on the blog, and then you can click on new post. Mm. and you can start writing the blog that's all so start whatever blog you have blog. whatever you want to write test blog or whatever so you can uh, adjust the products. text edit it to your products or whatever you want to write so test test uh, so whatever you want to write you can just post the blog so it will post okay, okay. it will post and then uh, once it posts then you can save it okay We're done so okay, blogs will help to uh, for SEO purposes right exactly it is going to help for seo purposes and now i can what i can do is in the blog also you can add images and all whatever you want okay, okay. Done. blog in blog also we can add uh, images related to that blogs right exactly and that is done so now uh what we're going to do is we are going to uh post. discard this draft okay okay. <laughs> okay discard the post done so we are back here okay so now what we are going to do is we are going back to contact us page now what I want to tell them is the button stuff, right? So before the buttons, I want to tell them how do you uh, suppose you have this uh, blog here, right? So I want blog to come first and contact Just us. Just drag and dab, uh, sorry, drag and drop <laughs> blog uh, up to uh, like this here. That's it, right? So the blog. Just uh, drag and place that tongue twister. So blog will come here. Contact us. <laughs> will come here. That's all. So very good, no? Now you understood the concept, right? Yes, I understood drag and drop so now once that is done mm -hmm. uh you can add a button so go to build here button option is there there's a button so i can just add this button where is the button I'm not able to, yeah but button. i, I it wait is, i have to do it in there. contact us not in the blog ah, okay right. <laughs> okay good so i'm going to go here and add the button and i'm going to put it here just drag and drop what okay. button will so form. this is a button you can edit the text so uh Get here click here or whatever you want then i can add this link whatever i want so i can add a website you are a link or whatever google okay so hold on so or, uh, you whatever, page, whatever, 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 whatever you want or, uh, whatever 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 so then once you give that that's it so you position can position of that button yeah and then you can open in a new window or you can open in the same window that you can adjust and, okay uh, Water. Yeah, position, position of the, of the button. button here or there center or, or left or right or wherever you want you can spacing whatever you want here okay done mm -hmm. and then publish that's it button is over uh, you don't have to code the button also everything is done <laughs> <laughs> no need of coding so button is done it'll work only when you preview this okay okay so once you're previewing this in the actual site only it's going to work okay okay i understood you understood when they click it'll go to google okay Done. So now uh, let's look at uh, BB okay. Analytics. Once a website is ready, we have to analy analyze our website. Website. Like traffic or whatever it is, once you publish it, right? In the Weebly, uh, also we have a default analytics there. So you can use that also, okay? Correct. And then uh, see, like this, you can create lot numerous pages. Uh, you can you can build a lot of things here. Once everything is ready, publish it and share it with your fans or friends or whatever it is. Then you come to uh, Weebly dashboard. There's something called traffic here, no? Yeah, under the overview. Overview traffic or whatever. You can look at the number of people who are visiting your sites, your page views or average page views, your unique visits, your page views visits, okay. uh, your people page shows views. Everything. Uh, whatever it'll show everything okay your traffic everything is going to show guys everything is going to show uh it's pretty amazing it'll show you how the graph will uh, dip or a graph will increase okay okay, okay. So then okay. sources where the traffic is coming okay. from where the traffic is coming it is from very important from google or facebook or twitter or whatever it whatever we it can is consider more on that sources Okay, exactly further. exactly and emails automation or you can check it out so pretty good so now uh, analytics google analytics coming to we saw about weebly traffic now let's see it analytics okay 
So I'm here in analytics. So what I can do is I can go to admin panel. Okay, you can sign up for Google Analytics once you're in, inside analytics.google.com mm. and then I go to, go to admin, admin panel. Admin panel. So once I'm in here in admin panel, I can click on create property. Properties. So whatever your Weebly URL is. So suppose so you have a custom the URL yeah. at here. Yeah. So if you have a custom domain, give that URL. If it is v.weebly.com also, you have to give that URL mm -hmm. and then you create the this one. So once you do that, in property settings, you'll have a unique ID. Mm -hmm. Okay. ID you have or you'll have a unique code. Okay. Mm -hmm. That code, you have to go to settings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hold on. So you'll have to go to settings, uh, SEO. Okay, guys. Okay. And then paste that code here. Okay. Footer code. Uh, no, yeah, in footer code, uh, no, sorry, uh, you have to paste it in uh, this one. Yeah, yeah, footer code, exactly. Footer code, only. Footer code yeah, this Google is the, yeah, exactly, exactly. Code. It says Google Analytics tracking code, It's you can paste that. If you have a AdSense or something like that, then you paste it in header code. Header code, okay. AdSense or something like that, then you paste in header code, okay. So, so AdSense is... means for uh, ads, to okay, show ads, ads on your site. Some website, uh, they shows uh, ads, ads of, right. Uh, right? Exactly, for that. So for that, you can use... Uh, that adsense goes in header code 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 okay done and then um, uh, meta keywords whatever you want you can give the keywords here and uh, you can give the site description here whatever you want okay uh, keywords uh, uh, will help uh, you to uh, get great results in seo search in search and seo okay header code i told you about okay then if you want a um, uh, lot of editors uh, you can uh, configure editors suppose you have you are working on the site alone no need to work on the site alone if you have a lot of friends or somebody who you appointed for the editor place you can add him as editor he will work for the site for you then members members are somebody who have signed up for your website as registered members or whatever okay. it is so you can uh, you can lock certain pages of your site and then you can uh, definitely you can uh, let it only for the members right okay. suppose members will have access to a blog or members will have access to certain uh, products or whatever that you can look at that then um, then uh, then uh, in the next video what we are going to show you about is we are going to show you how to add a youtube video to your okay. site we're going to show you how to add a background video to your site okay and then we're looking at the app store okay in the next video only okay and until then you practice this okay guys and one more thing is uh, uh if you want to add a section you can use the section column if you want to add a divider divider means it's just like a normal divider okay like this you can you want you can divide this like kind of a line kind of thing that okay, you can uh, adjust. it will separate a separate particular page Place into two columns or two yeah, rows. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Uh, in the next video, we'll look at more and more things. File, if file, flash, and all you can do it. Next video, we'll look at uh, some video and all this stuff. How to add? Okay, okay, cool.